Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Um, ooh, this is something different here. This is a new series. It's called Sorority Sisters. And this is season one, episode one. Now, let me just go ahead and say this right at the beginning. And this is no offense. So I hope nobody takes offense who is in a sorority or a fraternity. Um, I know that those things are very important to the people who actually have partaken in that. And they've they've pledged and went through all that they've gone through to be a part of these organizations. And the organizations are known to do really good things. Um, but they have their 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 thing as well, you know, where they're a little hard to deal with at times, the folks who actually are a part of these organizations. I'm gonna go ahead and say the people who they have actually put on here on this show to represent you all are doing you all no justice. They are just absolutely useless. They are the worst thing that I've seen since BAPS. Honestly. Um, just not good representation of what the, the whole sorority thing stands for. Really is it? Not in my opinion. But whatever. It is what it is. Um, let's go on. Let's go through them. All I'm seeing here basically is a bunch of old whores who have graduated from school and basically aren't doing anything. Half of them don't have jobs, you know, and the ones that do don't have shit to do with what they went to school for. And and they're bitchy and they're nasty and they're pretentious. And I know for a fact that everybody who is in fraternities and, and sororities are not like that. And a lot of you are, but a lot of people are not. Okay? Anyway, they start off with this girl, April bootleg ass. She is totally bootleg. <laughs> She's a wannabe fashion girl. She owns a boutique and knows absolutely nothing about what it is that she's doing. So you know she got right up underneath my skin when she actually was um you know what? We'll go I uh, will get to it. We'll get to it. It'll be good. Trust me, y'all laugh. We'll get to it. Of the drag her ass. Um next we are introduced to a girl and oh April is an AKA and we're introduced to a girl named Priyanka, um, who is a Delta. And uh, <laughs> she's a 28-year-old stripper, is what she is. She's a 28-year-old stripper with raggedy-ass goddamn pantyhose on. She had these fishnets on with a big old hole in them. And this is your introduction reel? And you run around with a hole in your stockings? Really? Really? This year has that motherfucking uh, Shantae Moore throwback dumbass hairdo with two wigs pinned on the side of her head and then a blonde one stuck right here and bald headed on the side. Well, that dumbass hairdo, it doesn't shock me that you don't have a job in your field because what field would have you with that dumbass hairdo? But anyway, she's um, all broke down ass stripper basically is what she was. Um... That the hurdle act. There's some bad strippers down there in Atlanta. She ain't one of them. She's old bootleg ass, broke down Delta. That's all. She's a mess, and she shouldn't even be wanting to use the Delta name. And this is all you have to offer. And she's messy as hell, very messy. Um, moving on. Cat Harper is the next one. She's a Sigma Gamma Rho. She actually is the assistant to Derek Blanks, and she wants to be a model. She's been out of college for five years. Really? Five years you've been out of college and you assisted somebody and want to move over into Martin. Girl, bye. Anyway, moving forward. Um, next we get a dream and she's a Delta. She actually has a boutique. Um, she's a celebrity stylist. She actually has some things going on. Um, her place is called House of a Dream. Um, she got some things going on. She pretty much knows what she's doing, but she's a bitch. She's a bitch, and the girls don't really care for her. Like, right starting out, there's she's a Delta. There's other Deltas that just didn't even care for her, like right out the gate. Um, she, her and Priyanka just really didn't hit it off at all. Um, Priyanka literally went with her messy ass and 
checked with some other people to make sure that she was really a Delta, like she would actually have lied about it. She would check to make sure she was really a Delta. She found out that she was, and she still wanted to give her a hard time, you know? Wanted to give her a hard time. She just doesn't like her. They don't really mesh, and they don't get along. Um, next, we met Veronica, who is a Zelta, i sorry, Zeta Phi Beta. And she has a long distance engagement with a guy in Houston, Texas, named Jesse. Jesse's not overly cute, but he's not ugly. He's just big and boxy, kind of very Herman Monster esque. But um, he has an issue. That little thing ain't going so well. You know, he wants her to move and be where he's at. She um, she used to be a cheerleader, and she fucked up her leg and. So now she's trying to get back into the circuit. Um, interesting. And then she also doubles as a um, an image consultant. And I have no idea why, but she does. There's a girl named Shayna. Shayna is a Delta, but Shayna is Caucasian. So she's very interesting. She's recently lost 70 pounds, feeling really good about herself. Her, her soror sisters brought her on down into Atlanta and they're helping her to, to step up her game. And um, she's just so optimistic and she's so open. I really know. I liked her. You know, she even just her thing. She's really into, she's really open and embracing the black experience. And um, and it's not fake and, and phony and pretentious. I think she really, the things that she says is really true. And I, 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 got, I got life off her. I really did. Now, she's the one character that I really did care for. Um. She says she looks up to Michelle Obama and the look that she really wants to go for would be a cross between Michelle Obama and J-Lo. I don't have a problem with that. Now, that motherfucker, Veronica, I couldn't get with her. She was just rolling her eyes and looking at her and being shady, but you're charging her money. You know, as the image goes off, rolling your eyes in your head and all this. I didn't like that at all. I, I, I didn't care for Veronica. Fuck you, Veronica, you old broke down ass ex-dancing bitch. I didn't care for her. I think she's very shady and I didn't care for her. Then we met Lydia. Lydia is a Delta. Um, she's a single mom. She uh, Her baby actually lives with her mom and she lives in Atlanta and in another city. She lives in Atlanta with a friend. She actually had gotten together with Priyanka. They knew each other and they were just, this is the first time they hooked up since um, she had moved down there. And Lydia is just a mess. She was crying about not having food and this, that, and the other. And, and how things were so hard and blah, 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 blah. She's trying to book another job. She's a dancer as well. Um, and I'll clock, you're, you're crying about, you don't know what y'all are going to eat, but you had wine and you ready to go out. Bye. Anyway. Then we met um, Mitoya, and she is a Delta. Um, she's different. She really didn't care for Adrene at first, because Adrene is very much, she does the Tamar thing somewhat. She talks about herself in third person. I am she, and she is me. <laughs> well, okay, but, you know, but in these group of clowns, She's all right to do that because they ain't got shit going on. Okay? So she didn't really care for a dream. Then her and a dream actually had a little um, sit down and, they, and they're good. So they kind of became friends. So that's basically it. Those are the characters and what's basically going on. Um, The first piece of business, the dream comes back in town, sees flyers for April's store. April's opening up a, a shoe portion to her boutique. So she has a what she called a shoe teak and then she has a boutique. Now Adreen has been in business for 13 years, okay? So that's saying something, you know, boutique 13 years in Atlanta. She's doing all right. And they're both supposed to be doing couture. So um she sees the flyer and it was very tacky. She actually had somebody go out and do flyers and hand them out all over Atlanta. It was tacky to take flyers to introduce your store and put them into someone else's store. And she got very pissed about it. And she ended up going to the event. And um, it just didn't go very well. They actually met. 
they literally bumped head right bumped heads right away. She basically let her. She said, "I'm here to teach you boutique etiquette. You don't come in and try to sideline and grab my customers out of my store. That's that's just not good." But and what Adreen was telling her was correct. But again, Adreen is a bitch. So she took it just that way that she was a bitch. And they're going back and forth. Then April, this is what I was talking about in the beginning. You'll see, April is an asshole. She's going on and it's supposed to be all this here and couture clothes. She didn't even know what couture was. She said, do you have any couture pieces in there? She going to say, yes. Well, see, to me, couture means something different. This, that, thing, or the other. That's not what the fuck couture is, you dumbass bitch. See, I love all these people with these fashion lines and these boutiques, and they don't know what they're doing. Couture, when you have a couture garment, what that means is that garment is about 95 to 98% put together by hand. That's what makes it couture. The, the work put into it, um, the construction, the, the fabric, everything is done on a grand scale of 100 you know, it, you're not using polyester. You're using silk. You're not um, doing machine buttonholes. You're doing them by hand. The beading is done by hand. That's what makes of a couture garment. Not the fact that you just said that it was couture because it looked cute to you. Okay? So how do you have a couture shop and don't know that? And then, like the girl said, to have a couture shop, darling, there must be some couture pieces in it. And she was getting all pissed off, but she was looking like a goddamn ass jack with that old sideways bullshit she had up in that store. But anyway, so they had their little words. And then a dream says, um, and she had Mitoria with her. She uh, says, I'd like to invite everybody to my dress swap next week. So she basically did the exact same thing to her, but she just did it in person because she's the bitch. Said, you just bring, you know, we take pictures in dresses and then you can't wear that dress again. Bring your dress and we're going to swap you out a dress from my store. So I said, oh, that was a cute little idea, but Lord have mercy. Anyway, so um, the little girl who was, uh, the wants to be the model who works for Derek Blanks, she was actually the model for April at her thing. Well, wouldn't you know, good old Adrienne snatched the model up and had her at her her show too, and hired her for hers. And she had the little thing, and um, her and Priyanka ended up getting into it. Adrienne and Priyanka get into it again. Priyanka told her, you know, I checked you out and I found out you really are a Delta. You know, this, that thing, and the other word was really not the right time, not the right place. And who gives a fuck? Bitch, you're swinging from a pole with your big old wide ass. Who even cares, you raggedy stocking, dumb hairdo wearing bitch? But anyway, um, so her and um, April ends up showing up and she says, you know, she's being shady and everything. And they're, you know, going back and forth. And I'm like, this is just tacky. I'm like, this is not what sorority ladies act like. Just come into a place and turn on a function. That is not the sorority experience. Not at all. All that skeek and reek and all that shit that they be doing, that's enough. That's enough. You know what I mean? Because I don't think that that's always appropriate. I've been at very good, decent affairs, you know, where you've paid a decent amount of money for your seat and they screeching and carrying on. And that always kind of makes me say, Really, y'all? With a gown on? For real? But again, don't understand the whole experience because I didn't have it. Okay? So obviously that's appropriate. I don't know about being in a gown sounding like you at the motherfucking aviary. But whatever. Whatever. It's cool. Like I said, I'm not trying to offend anybody. Whatever. Me? Gown? Screeching like a bird? Not. Anyway, moving on. So... Um, when Priyanka sees that there's starting to be a little tension between April and a dream, she put her differences aside and she's like, oh no, nobody's cussing that bitch out but me. She's still a Delta and no bitch is going to disrespect her. So she was going to go and the girls were going to go 
bust up into it. And I'm looking at the muscles. They act more like the bad girls club to me. They're a fucking hot mess. It's such a bad representation of what it is they're supposed to be. But anyway, um, she goes in her purse. She says, well, you have a dress to swap out. She goes in her purse. April bring out this dress from the, the Goodwill and said, yeah, girl, I paid five ninety five for it. I said, well, that was a good read. But she's so busy being pretty and carrying on with all this too much hair on. And I was like, a mess. So they ended up going and um, she asked him to leave. It was time for them to leave because it was just getting to be too much. April going to go out. Well, she's going to leave. She's going to knock some stuff off the rack. That was so trifling and so tacky. You know, who does that? And then when they're leaving, she says, the, she, I like that. She said, she can have that dress. I didn't pay very much for it. And took it and threw it out on the ground in front of the store. I just said, that is just as childish and petty. Just as petty and not ladylike at all. Not late like at all, but they should be the bad girls club. They shouldn't be anything about a sorority. They should be the bad girls motherfucking club because they were just as raggedy and raunchy and ratchet. All right, guys, so you can thumbs up or thumbs down the video. Tell me what you think. Should we keep reviewing this? But the, the worker is, I don't believe we're going to even have the option because I don't think it's going to make it. I think it's going to do just like BAPS did. And once we get to about the third or fourth episode, ain't nobody going to have to worry about it because motherfucker ain't going to be on. But anyway, all right, guys, leave me some comments. Tell me what you think, and I'll be back with you guys. Bye, guys.